Hey YouTube, DWS Darius here, and this week I'm bringing you guys another amazing fish, and this time the Bosmani Rainbow Fish. Now before I start to talk about these fish, I'm just going to give you some time to look at how beautiful these fish really are. Okay, so after seeing that clip, I'm pretty sure most of you guys already know why I think the Bosmani rainbow fish is just an amazing fish. I mean, this fish is just truly beautiful. Now, most people, when they want colorful fish, they run to cichlids, but they get the aggression of cichlids. I love the Bosmani rainbows because you can get such beautiful colors and barely any aggression. You only get aggression during mating season, which is pretty much with every fish. Okay, so if you've noticed, I have three Bosmani rainbows, and each one of them are showing a decent amount of color. You have the first one here, you have the second one behind them, and the third one just right there in the middle. And each one of them are showing a fair amount of color, and that's because each one of them are males, and males typically show the greater colors. A female would pretty much have less colors in the back and just more of a, a solid color. With the males, you can see a definite split. The front is blue, the back is yellow. With that one back there, the front is greenish and the back is oranges. But with the females, it's more of just one solid type of color. So that's the difference between the male and the females. And um, yeah. Okay, and my number one reason why I love the Bosmani rainbow fish is because with such great color coming from these fish, these fish are not difficult to take care of. Just give them a nice tank space. I have mine in a 55 gallon tank and it's four feet across so that's lots of swimming room I have suggest that you give them a large school I only have three but in the future I do plan on adding more if you want to add males and females just make sure you have try to get more females than males because the males can get aggressive towards each other if there's not enough females to go around so just make sure you balance that I have three males so I have I don't have to worry about that but in the future when I add more I have to think about that and just make sure you have the right tank mates these fish are not too aggressive although I've heard stories of them killing every other fish in the tank that's a rare situation usually these fish stay to themselves so just make sure you don't get fish that will feel threatened by them and it will t attack them okay so this has been another episode of amazing fish and I just want to thank everybody that's watching this video and everybody that's subscribed to my channel I just want to encourage you to keep watch my videos and to keep just showing that support because it really helps and really just brings comfort to me. I encourage, encourage everyone who has not to subscribe to my channel. The link is above. And thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more race coming.